Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video I am going to talk about how to fix Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is having an issue with crashing it is not launching or won't launch and how we can fix this that we can uh, having this kind of issue and how we can fix this so uh, like I said the game is available on the Xbox for me the game is available for the Xbox because I'm having the Game Pass you uh, Game Pass so I had the game in the Xbox right now as you can see but I paused it because uh, it's going to take a lot of time so uh, also you can try playing the game if you're on the Steam what you need to do is just go over here and you can get the manage my DLC and you can get the game access to the game so if you're on the battle.net you can pre-purchase the game and you can play it so if you're having the crashing issue this is what you have to do the first one is all about you have to modify the installation for this what you need to do is if you're on the steam just go over here in the game keep scrolling down and over here at the left you can see sorry on the right you can see manage my 15 dlc and click on this one so right now as you can see there are many options like this so in this you have to uncheck all these things you have to uncheck these uncheck these 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 and these as well and you have to only keep that is related to the black ops 6 beta so you have to uncheck everything and keep for the Black Ops 6 beta. And once you're done with this one, you have to try afterwards, you'll be reinstalling the game. You can reinstall the game back and try to launch the game. And you have to check. This is the first step what you need to do. Next one is all about we have to restart the Steam or you have to exit the Steam and you have to launch it back. For this, what you need to do, just close the Steam over here. It's not going to work because if you go back to the Steam, this is actually not kind of closing the Steam but exiting the Steam. So exiting the Steam is all about just go over here at the top and click on the exit so right now as you can see it's like the steam is closed and it's having now if you wanted to open the steam once again just over here and open the steam so it's like giving a fresh start for the steam so it will be like restarting so you have to launch the game or restart the game like this and also apparently i would like to suggest you can try restarting your pc as well if you're on the laptop pc or whatever it is just restart the game that is even going to work for you guys because i don't know how it is related but even it working for many of my users so you can try restarting the game and just go to the library and just move to the call of duty over here and you can try launching the game next one is all about we have to uncheck the compatibility so this is a very important step so for this we just need to go over here right click and go to the properties and we have to go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse so that will take you to over here as you can see that this PC, local disk C, program for x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Call of Duty HQ. And if you scroll down, you can see this is the game. The application is very big. So right click over here and we have to go to show more options and we have to navigate to the properties, go to the compatibility. Make sure this is unchecked. That is, this should be unchecked and once afterwards, just go for the apply and go for OK. This is what you have to do. And also apart from this, this is actually a shortcut which I show you guys apart from this. You can also navigate to the installation folder like this. Just go over here to the file explorer and navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C. Go to the program file x86. Navigate to Steam and we have to go to the Steam apps and we have to go to the common. Now from here go to the Call of Duty HQ and we have to navigate to the folder over here. You can do the same. So you can uncheck the compatibility from here. Next one is we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods like I said. We have a shortcut from the Steam or you have to navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. So the shortcut from the Steam, right click over here and go to the properties. Go over here in the install it file and just click on the browse that will take you to this. And if you check over here at the top, this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common. Call of Duty HQ and if you scroll down and navigate to this you can launch the game from here. I don't know how this is related but this particular step worked for many games in my knowledge for Control Strike, even for uh, Dying Light 2 and even it helped me for WRC some of the racing games including the Forza Horizon 5. So this even worked including the Black Myth Wukong. So you can try launch the game instead of launching the game from Steam, try launch the game from here and that even worked for many users as well. The next one is all about we have to run the game as administrator. So hence within the installation folder, I'm going to demonstrate you from here. What you need to do is just go over here and click on the show more option. Navigate to the properties, go to the compatibility and click on run this program as administrator and just go over here and apply and go for OK and that even worked many users as well. Also, I would like to make you notice that even some users, when they disable the full screen optimization, it even worked for them. So you can try this out. If that is not working, you can just in disable this once afterwards. I have just set this up right now. Just go over here and apply and go for OK. And once afterwards, go back and try and launch the game. 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure that your Steam account is linked to the Activize activation. So it's quite important as it is. So for this, just go over here and you have to log in with your credentials on the Activation X account and you have to make sure the Steam is connected. So we have options over here for the PlayStation. We have option for the Xbox. We have an option over here for the Battle Dot and even for we are having the option for the Steam. So you have to click on this one and you have to connect your account to the activation to this one. So you have to sign into the Steam and you have to link it. So it even worked for many users in my knowledge. I found this from the Reddit so I'm, that is why I'm recommending you can try this out as well. Next one is all about if you go back, we need to do this, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So this we just reason we have to go over here in the control, just search for the control over here have to go to the panel now click on the system and security go for windows defender firewall go over here and click on allow and ample feature through windows defender firewall now keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to the call of duty so over here as you can see just click on call of duty hq over here so this has to be market so as you can see this both has to be market that is private and public both has to be market so if the game is not here, just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for the browse and we have to navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to the common. Now we have to go over here and click on Call of Duty HQ and we have to select this one and we have to go for open and we have to add the game. So the game is already added, that's why I'm getting the error. So once it's done with this one, just go back and click everything and go back to the game and try to launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to give the commands in the launch option. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go over here and we have to give the command. So the first one is we have to try with DX11. So DX11 will be working in most cases because that even working for many users, we can try this out. So if DX11 is not working, you have to start with DX12. So if DX12 is not working, you have to start with D3, D2 and that is what you have to do. So you can try DX11 d3 d2 or you have to try with dx12 so any one of the things will be working in most cases and that's what we have to do so once afterward just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to change the language to the united states so uh, most probably as you can see in the steam if you go over here in the updates over here as you can see if you go to the language as you can see this is made set into this so you can try linking the, so you can set the language over here, English, you have to make sure the language is in English. And also you have to make sure, just go over here in the control and navigate to the settings over here, or you can search for the settings. And just go over here in the settings and we have to navigate to the Windows update or the, go to time and language. Go for the language and region. And from here you have to select the United States as the country as well, which is quite important. So select the country at the United States and go back and also you can try add the language over here. You have to add the language English United States as well. You can go over here and add the country for uh, English United States. So once you set the English United States, that's most probably if you get the option set this up. And also once afterward, just close everything and you have to go back and go back to the game and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to update the graphics card. So just go over here in this one and we have to navigate to the official NVIDIA. So over here, as you can see, the manual driver search over here and we have to go to the product type. Just select this one and we have to go to the product series. You have to select this one. And if you're on the NVIDIA over here with this, you have to select this one and go for the operating system. Go to the language and go for start search. Now from here, what you need to do is you just need to go over here and you'll be getting these kind of updated versions. You can download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. And if you're on the driver with the AMD, you can go over here to the graphics. We can select every details over here and go back to the game. Now select everything and go to the submit and you can go over here and if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try download this one. Next one is we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game and search for the graphics settings. Now from here, you have to click on this one. And what we need to do is we just need to add the game. So just click on the browse and we have to navigate to, we need to navigate to uh, over here. We have to add the game. Just go to the, this PC, go to local disk C, go to the program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. And we have to navigate to Call of Duty HQ and we have to add this and we have to go for add. So once the game is added, so as you can see, I have already added the game. So that's why I'm getting this error. So just click on this one, go to the option, make sure this is on high performance. This will be most probably if by that Windows side, change this to high performance and go for this one. And what you need to do is after doing this, 
what you need to do. So you have to uh, do this after this. So you have to try launch the game and most probably that's going to help you guys out. Next, go back once afterwards. Still, if you're having this trouble, you have to try the next one that is all about. We have to update the windows. So just go over here in the game. So just go for the update windows over here. You can search for the update or just go to the settings, navigate to the windows update and just update the windows. And most probably that's going to help you guys in most cases. So that's what you have to do. And once afterwards, still, if you're having the trouble, you can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ and just go over here. So as you can see, the Microsoft Shell C++ is what we have to do. And if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, download this one and install. Restart as a mandatory and try launching the game. Next one is all about after trying with this, we need to install the uh, VRAM. So just go over here and search for the view advanced system setting. Just go over here and navigate to the advanced and go for settings. Once again, go to the advanced and go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local disk C. Go to the custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times root ultram and the maximum size 3 times root ultram. So we need a calculator, so just go to the calculator. So we need to type your RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM, just type your RAM and multiply 8.024. That brings you this particular value and go for 1.5. That is 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Next one is maximum size. 32 GB multiplied it 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Now go for OK and once everything has been set just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the game which is a very important step so just go over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game. Try reinstalling back to a new local disk not on the same local disk from which you uninstall you have to try a new local disk. And the last and the least is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is what you have to do. So let me wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So once after done, just close everything and you have to try launch the game and that's all you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.